A little community, as I showed you in my last video, Stable Diffusion version 2.1 is out. I showed you in my last video how to install it. Diffuser, Transformer, Accelerate, SciPy. Then simply we go with Torch, we import a new solver, but otherwise, of course, model ID is now Stable Diffusion 2.1. Otherwise, we have absolutely the same code that you know and you can download from Hogging Face. Now, as I told you last time, I got a garden full of flowers with a wild creek and I did not use the negative prompt, which is new in version 2.1. So this is without the negative prompt. And then I said, okay, a high resolution photograph, yes. And here starts now the negative prompt. This is what's new, negative prompt. And you have your um, objects and I have aquarel, drawing, painting, intensive color, minus one, it's a float. But as you can see, this is not a convincing picture. I mean, I said, I want a high resolution photograph and not an aquarelle, not a drawing, not a painting. And I got this, so I was really a little bit, okay. So I experienced with the terms that they use in Stability AI. So I said, instead of a high resolution photograph, I went with their wording a hyper-realistic photograph. And as you can see, with number of inference, there are 40, la, guidance was 17, 768 times 1200 pixels. Suddenly it improved, it improved, yeah. But that would say, this is uh, absolute photorealistic, no. It still has a little bit of touch of a painting, an aquarelle for me, you know. That's not the detailed, also a specified, highly detailed, photorealistic nature photography. So they told you that you only have here minus one, but in a stability AI example, they'll go to minus five, but did, this did not really change a lot off for me. So I said, okay, if I forget more or less here, my negative prompts, because maybe those prompts are not for the style but rather for object, object specific uh, clips. So I said, okay, forget about it. How can I optimize the prompt? Because I noticed here this hyper-realistic photo. So I set out to do this and I get something. Yeah, it's nice, but you can see it still looks like a painting. Also, there's a nice detail in the water. So I said, okay, what else? And then I experimented with words. You see here, photo with PH and photo with F. So I did a lot of training data. And as you can see here, this was more or less the best I could achieve at the first step. The river is rather artificial, non-detailed at all, the water and the flowers. It's, it's more like a general rendering and not a photograph. And then I noticed something. Oh yeah, this is photorealistic, yes. So you see, this is more or less the best I could afford playing around with this, with a very nice reflection on the water and the sunset, nice. But then I found out something, please take this into consideration. Stability AI, in one of the examples, they used this 8K slash stable diffusion version 2.1768. And I said, okay, I give it a try. And with the exact same like here, just added 8K stable diffusion, I received one of my best results. Look at this. Unbelievable. There is here on my screen really detailed flowers. Here, this really looks like a photo. Absolute details here. Water reflection, beautiful. The sun, because I said at sunset. So the sun is here really like in a photo, the blur happening. And you could see almost every leaf here in the tree. So very nice. This looks like a photography. So I said, okay, this is it. 8K stable diffusion. And I guess this was a label to train the stable diffusion version 2.1 with to have a differentiation to 2.0. So great. And I said, okay. A uh, little bit uh, different, but very nicely, very detailed. There's no blur in the background. It gives you a high resolution of your photos. So very nice. Even on my 4K screen, I have a good resolution here on the picture, 768 times 1200. Of course, uh, 4K screen, it's a little bit magnified, but you get the idea. So 
I would tell you this is the nicest part and please definitely if you take something from my video use this qualifier here in the prompt and if you have landscape or nature photography like I have those negative prompts I suppose on the style what I could experience within two three hours of, of experimenting there's not a lot of importance significance here and as they stated, stability, I added it is about objects. So this are my experience. I would like to show you then a hyper-realistic photo of a beautiful nature -laid landscape with the ocean in the background. And I think this is one of the most stunning photorealistic simulations I received with Stability Diffusion 2.1. This looks really nice. This is really the photo of an ocean. And here are the three amazing details. Again, landscape, nature, and I have here, you have here my prompt in detail. Please use this prompt, anything that you can use. And interestingly enough, 8K, Stable Diffusion version 2.1768, did it for me. So this is the highlight of my little round of experimentation of the two, three hours. So definitely recommendation. I will use this qualifier in my further videos. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you are experimenting yourself. So you see prompt optimization is significant. For nature photography, I did not find a lot of influence of negative prompting if I want to influence the style of the photo. Maybe if you want to reduce objects within the photo, it is more effective. But for nature, I receive better results without negative prompting and with this beautiful qualifier. Thank you and I see you in my next video.